trying to figure out how to say this. First, I'm Sam LaFrancois. How you doing? I am the creator of the Start Over Machine, one of the greatest divorce systems ever known to mankind. Uh, if you need an affordable divorce, uh, you can get it at a very, very low price and a quality care. Um, even once in a while, once a month, I actually offer like a makeover. Um, you can call it a pampering uh, opportunity where you get made up and you eat well and what have you, all while you're waiting for your divorce paperwork to get done. No one else will do that because most people don't care um, the way we do about people who trust us with such an important component of their life. But what I want to talk about was this. I'm not going to stray. The good news is this, if you're getting divorced, it's not your fault. It's not your fault. The, the divorce isn't your fault. Hmm. Hmm. I'm going to title it, the divorce isn't your fault. But it is your decision. Yeah, that's where we're going with this. The divorce is not your fault, but it is your decision. It was or is your choice. Just like getting married uh, was your choice. Just like dating was your choice. Just like falling in love was your choice. It just didn't ah happen. I'm in love. It You chose. Maybe you had to do it. Maybe you didn't have to do it. Maybe you were the person that stopped communicating. Maybe they were the person that stopped communicating and as a result, you decided to stop communicating. Maybe you were just so angry and you didn't give yourself a chance to think about it and you just wanted to erupt and go off because you had all you can stands and you can't stands no more. The good news is this. It was nobody's fault. It was your choice. Just like you decide to turn the lights off on your marriage, you decided, ah, I mean, just like you decide to turn the lights on in your marriage, you decide to turn them off, just like that. It is that easy. I know there's a ton of other people, counselors, and all these great people out there, I can name some of them, uh, but I'm not gonna do that because it's not about them. And I know there's all kind of religious beliefs and those are great, especially if they help you stay rooted in a great marriage. But if they force you to stay in something that you're suffering through, and when I mean suffer, I mean both of you are going through a living hell. That's poison. And you're choosing to stay in it. It's a choice. Very much a choice. Another part of the good news is you can choose to stay and fix it. Or you can choose to disrupt the entire thing, count your losses, and move on. It always has been, just as it is now, and it always will be your choice. Choose wisely. And if you decide to go forward with it, you can come see me. I'll be more than happy to help you. Perhaps I'll help you change your mind, decide to go back the other direction. Because I don't say yes to everybody. I say no to people too. It's my job.